Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Kevin Collins. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now receive it. Today is Wednesday, August 21st, 2024. Word of the Week is back. Now let's go to our RPCV members with a new word. Civics is so boring. I mean, it's not that bad. Okay, whatever you say. But did you hear there's a new student coming to class? No. Who? Her name's Eli and she only speaks Spanish. But how would I understand her? I'll interpret for you. What does that mean? Interpret is the action of explaining the meaning of something. Oh, okay. Class, we have a new student. Let's make sure she feels welcomed. Hello, me am Elia. She said, hi, my name is Elia. Well, hello, Elia. I'm glad you're here. Why don't you sit next to Giselle right over there? Hi, my name's Giselle. Yo no entiendo mucho en inglés. I don't understand Spanish. Camila, can you interpret what she said for me? Oh, sure. Can you say that again? Eh? Oh, okay, okay. Yo no entiendo mucho en inglés. She said she doesn't understand English that much. Maybe we can help her with that. Ask her if we can help. See? She said... I know. She said yes. What a new amazing word. Now see what history was like with Noah. Thank you, Catherine. What's up, Patriots? Today in history, on August 24, 1959, Hawaii became the 50th state. Before it became a state, it was called the Sandwich Islands. It got its name from the British Earl Sandwich. You may know Hawaii for its volcanoes, but it, it has many other stuff, like its beautiful beaches, its peaks, and more. After it became a state, it homed over 1 million people, and 9 million people visit each year. Wow, have you ever been to Hawaii before? Let's go to Kayla for today's lunch. Thank you, Noah. Today's lunch is chicken patty sandwich, turkey and cheese wrap, steamed corn, fresh broccoli, garden salad, ranch dressing, and pine pineapple tidbits and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is whole grain donut ring, cinnamon toast crunch, graham crackers, fresh apple, mixed fruit juice, mixed fruit juice, and your choice of milk. Bon appetit! Now let's head back to Catherine. Thank you, Kayla. That sounds like a taste of my heart. Remember, Patriots, there is no chewing gum in school. Don't be chilling like a villain and do the right thing. Same goes for phones. Make sure they're off in a way. And only wear a school jacket or a sweater. This week will be all about code of conduct. Today's lucky grade will be sixth. Pay attention. Good luck. Today, grades first through fourth will be continuing their NWA reading. Good luck. Now let's check today's weather with Hadassah. Hi, Patriots. Today's weather is 94 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. I hope you have an umbrella. In other weather news, did you know the moon affects weather on Earth? Although the moon is miles away, it still has a significant impact on Earth. The moon's gravitational pull causes the high and low tides we see in Earth's ocean. This gravitational pull also keeps Earth tilted on its axis, which causes our seasons to occur. Without the moon, the Earth's climate would be very different from what it is today. Who would have guessed the moon could affect us from so far away? Let us wish our Patriots happy birthday with Alaya. Thank you, Hadassah. Today's birthday boys and girls are... Maxwell Artidiello and Armelli Cuero. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Catherine. Now let's go to an interview with our questionnaire, Jaisley. Patriots, welcome back to Let's Talk. I'm Jaisley Peña. Some of you know that we have new teachers and students at the school. So for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be showcasing some of our new teachers. Today here we have one of our new second grade teachers, Ms. Monroe. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm good. So how has your experience in this school been so far? It's been really good. I have a great group of students. I like my team and I like a lot of my coworkers here. So I've really been enjoying it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. 
what made you want to be a teacher and what do you like most about teaching? Well, originally I was supposed to be a special ed teacher, so I kind of always had a knack for teaching, but I figured I wanted to just take a dip into general ed first so I can get used to the school system and then later on transition to special ed. Well, it's good to start new things. We saw that you decorated your classroom inside out theme. Can you tell us more about that? Honestly, really loved the movie. I think it was a great movie. It was a great representation of how to explain emotions and children are very emotional. So I figured I want my kids to be emotionally intelligent or at least start with that. So I just figured, well, why not? It's a fun way to decorate your room. So yeah. That's a great explanation. Do you have any hidden talents or hobbies you could tell us about? Well, I like to draw or paint or anything art really because I also do, I've done ceramics and graffiti and yeah, anything with arts. That's really cool. The last time we met, we spoke about how you used to be on a wheelchair. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so I was in a wheelchair since first grade till about three years ago. I was misdiagnosed with cerebral palsy, but I continued to search for new doctors and advocate for myself. And then I was given the correct diagnosis and the proper medication that allows me to now walk. We're glad that you're okay. Lightning round questions. Invisibility or super strength? Invisibility. <laughs> Polka dots or stripes? Stripes. Disneyland or Universal? Universal. <laughs> Wing stop or Chipotle? Wing stop. Pirate ship or spaceship? Spaceship. <laughs> I had an amazing time interviewing you today. Patriots, remember if you see Miss Monroe in the hallway, say hi. Bye! Amazing. Make sure you greet Miss Monroe when you see her in the halls. Great job for a first interview. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents presenting yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat schools right respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Eugene, Miss Sands, Miss Walker, Miss Manning, Miss Fletcher, Miss St. Louis, Miss Dancroix, and Miss M. Williams for getting the correct answer to the daily challenge, which was, what identity document is required to travel to different countries around the world? The correct answer was a passport. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Well, food could never go bad. Teachers, please see your answers to Pines at Renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. When is it being announced? A next morning announcement. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. Have a great day!